Is employer health insurance better than individual health insurance? No, it is not. Keep in mind, the USA is the only country in the world where employers offer healthcare insurance to their employees. The rest of the world is all either individually insured or collectively insured through their government. The USA is also the country with the highest healthcare costs in the world, and that isn't because of the outstanding quality. Other countries are able to provide the same quality of healthcare for a much lower price. Currently in the USA a lot of people want to change jobs, but don't do so because that would mean losing the healthcare insurance tied to their current job. The choice of healthcare insurance is tied to the choice of employer. In other countries this problem doesn't exist, people can pick the job they want to work because of the job itself, not because of the insurance that comes with it. Besides, if they get fired or quit their job they still keep their insurance. Also they can pick their own insurance, they don't have to comply with the choice that their employer makes for them. Many Americans see it as a benefit that their employer pays their health care insurance for them. Outside the USA this is not seen as a benefit, rather as a nuisance. They'd rather see that the employer pays that amount of money to them instead of to their health care insurance. With that money they can pay for their own health care insurance, which they choose for themselves. So that's what employers outside the USA do. Instead of providing their employees with a health care insurance, they provide them with higher wages. For the employers it doesn't matter if they pay that money to one thing or to another, it's the same amount of money. The USA is the only Western country without universal health care. One of the things that makes universal health care is that it's obliged, everybody must be insured. This doesn't go together with employer-based health care insurance. After all, people that are fired or quit their jobs lose their insurance. Can't have that in a country where insurance is mandatory. Therefore in each other Western country insurances are always individual. It really depends on your employer. For example, the first employer I was working at was a dealership and the coverage was not the greatest. I was paying about $300 a month with a $5,000 deductible high copays and a high max out of pocket. My next employer was at a corporation and they offered an amazing health plan. However, my next employer after that I consider the greatest employer I've worked for since they're a Fortune 500 company. I had a $500 deductible with a max out of pocket of $2,000 and paid only $140 a month. It was also a PPO plan so I could go anywhere I wanted without prior authorization. I have not been able to find anything that comes close to that not even one the marketplace. Unless you qualify for a subsidy that's probably the only way you can get a great plan like that at such a low cost. Since now I am self-employed I prefer the private plan that I have. I consider it to be the best compared to what is out there for someone that is self-employed. There are no copays, no coinsurance, and no annual deductible. In a catastrophic situation, the most I pay is $3,000 and I'm covered 100%. This plan is also a PPO plan. As far as the cost it's about 20% cheaper compared to ACA. Really it all depends on your personal situation and who you work for. When I was employed I'd rather have my employer plan. Since now I'm self-employed I'd rather have my private health plan than an ACA plan. Generally, yes. Due to the rather unique non-system of healthcare in the US, there are so many complexities and considerations that that the answer is not simple. If you make the assumption that the employee bears the full cost of employer provided health insurance because it is part of their compensation even though it isn't officially deducted from their paychecks and by individual health insurance, you mean Obamacare policies sold through the state exchanges, for most people, employer insurance is better. The main reasons are that employer insurance is able to offer more policy coverage for the premium dollar because marketing and administrative costs are lower when companies deal with the company rather than policy holder as the primary customer and the risk pool includes all employees of all ages and differing health histories. Individual policies carry more costs related to policy turnover and premium collection issues. In addition, their risk pool is only people who chose to purchase policies who tend to be older and sicker than the public at large. The biggest factor is the fact that employer health insurance is not subject to taxation while premiums paid for individual policies are. 
The tax subsidy is a huge factor for high-income people with expensive policies. Low-income employees derive little at no benefit from the tax deduction. Individual policies can receive substantial subsidies. The lower the policyholder's income, the higher the subsidy. Many low-paid employees are better off buying individual policies from the exchange than pocketing the premiums their employer would have paid as part of their wages. Highly paid employees would be significantly disadvantaged by losing their employer paid insurance. Since the employer usually pays a part of the cost, that a good reason right there. Even if not, the employers has probably negotiated better, more benefits for their employees so for one or both reasons, employer health insurance is better.